On this episode, I'm hosting Pastor Elizabeth Wanjiku, a former stripper who is now has turned out to be a community figure. And she's going to take us through her past life and why she decided to change and be a better face to the community. My name is Jael Msumba. Let's get her story. Hi, Pastor. Hi. Jambo. Sijambo. Niko mzima. Niko mzima. Thank God. Ngependa ujitapulishe. Tumbe majina yako. Halafu utueleze maisha yako. Ulianzia wapi. Na ni vipi ulijikuta unafanya stripping. Ok, kwa majina kamili na ito wa Pastor Elizabeth Wanjiko. Na nimi okoka. Yesu ni mkozo wa maisha yangu. So, my background is that. Sisi tumezaliwa tukia watoto wa tatu. Vijana wa wili. Na mimi mstana mmoja. So my mom is a pastor <coughs> and my dad is a pastor and I thank God for that family kwa sababu kama si maybe I wouldn't be here say mm. so my story is that I, I used to be a good girl a church girl see my, my parents are from church we used to go church each and every time we are just there mm -hmm. but in form 2 I missed and I got pregnant so after getting pregnant nikatoka shule mm. so I reached form 2 and I got a baby girl now, after getting the baby girl, now there is when now my life took a turn around. Mm. Yeah, and because I wanted to take care of my baby, that nisiekele, my parents, them zigo. Mm. So now I started with my every strength to know how my baby will be taken care of. I used to tell God, Mungu anisaidie mtoto wangu that I don't beg because of my baby. So I, now I took a turn around, nikanza kukua the bad girl now. So... And there is when I was introduced to stripping clubs. Mm. Because uh, they used to tell me, because you are tall, you are beautiful, you have the figure for the job. And I went, and, and eventually, at a Skufanyua inter interview, I was just taken. The only thing they told me is that Lazima Nipunguze. And who introduced you to that job? Uh, it was my, how will I will tell, the, the, the place where I got my daughter, I was married. So I was married there like for four years. Oh. Yes. Now there, there was a, a, she calls me auntie. She calls me auntie, but she's grown. She's bigger than me. Now she is the one who introduced me. Because as I see, the marriage collapsed. Now I needed money. So, so it was a family relative. Yes, right? yes, yes. But from the husband's family. Now there. Oh, on the, on the husband's side. Side, yes. <laughs> Now, she's the one who introduced me there. So when I went, I was taken. And it was a good job because you're you hearing Unalipo end of month, which I have never done. Nani kazi ye mwenye kwa nafanya? Ye, ata yale kwa nafanya. Yes, ata yale kwa nafanya. So, tukafanya, and it was a good one. Because pesa ilikuwa napata, there's, there's salary for the end of the month, and there's these tips, which are much more than the salary. Mm. So I saw the job is, is good. And because it is at night, so at the day I can do my other jobs. Other jobs. So I did it for a whole of three years. No, Elizabeth, I'd like to understand, like, you take us through uh, the first, how did it begin? Ulianza kivipi, ulifuzwa? Manake, unapambia mtu, I was stripping. Utuwe yapa mtu, alafu mwambia kazi ndio ifanya, na jawa ifanya, lazima itakuja na ugumu wake. How did it begin? Whew, it was tough. I won't say at it was tough because you see now this is an innocent girl it is just a mess because that my girl I just slept with the man just once and the baby came so but I was innocent mm -hmm. now the first time it was I was shiver, shivering nilikuwa na tetemeka yani ilikuwa na uoga nilikuwa na uoga hata bado nilikuwa nina dance but there's there's limit uh, you cannot pass Pass this. You cannot pass this. Yani, you, you just see. Yes, you. Mm -hmm. I had the boundaries. You cannot do that. You cannot. Yani, there's just that. Ile juu akutete me kata mutole kwa ngano gopa. Anaona ni this one is a little girl. Mm. And because me nilikuwa na muili, so sikuwa na kamtoto sana. But there, is, there was that shyness. So it was the first time nikaenda. The manager never talked, said anything. I continued, but around the sixth day, mm. that, that is when I had the meeting with the manager. Akaniambia, if you want this job, you need to let go of the boundaries. Kama si hivyo wachetu kazi. Because sasa atuwezi fanya kazi hii, because we are paying you, na unapata tip, 
na tuja kuitisha hizo tip. So it is you that is benefiting so lazima uachane na na hizi boundaries. Mm. So now I had to get loose. Now there is where now I, I got loose because staki kuacha hii kazi. Mm. And again ni kama bado starehe kwa sababu uko hapo you can drink you can have your drinks you can uh, you can and still you get your money na bado mwisho wa mwezi unahesabu pesa. Mm. Now there is a lot of benefits for that job. Mm. So I did it nikazoea. By the time I had uh, tulikuwa tafika third week I had now gotten you used to yes, toka yote yes. na wakati ambapo ulikuwa unafanya kazi hiyo uh, yule ambaye ni bwana wako alikuwa anajua ama mko ameshaachana tulikuwa tushaachana <laughs> tulikuwa tushawachana hata I, i think there's a day he came so that he can see me ako ana believe anasema that shy girl aje so there's a day he came but the place mali tulikuwa tunafanyia kazi au ingeingia tu because it was a respected club Uh, I think there ile, ile, ile drink ya pesa kidogo ilikuwa ilikuwa ya 200 and by then 200 ilikuwa na value mm. so angeza kuingia so aliingia na akachungulia na akatoka na alikuona na aliona mm-hmm. yes so there to I mean kaendelea nikasikia the, the girl told me alikuwa amekuja and because she, he had already married so even the wife uh, came now the wife is the one that I saw but all in all wakaenda and mm-hmm. now that that was not my mind to know so me I continued and now I I gotten nikakuwa flexible mm-hmm. to the job mm-hmm. now I did it with everything that is me kwa sababu utamia kazi si pesa pesa mm-hmm. yes and because the money is coming now I got and lose but bado kuna mali au ungefika because I was brought up from a place so kuna zile mafundisho zenye nilikuwa nimeshapewa zile mafundisho zenye nilikuwa nimeshaekwa chini yake mm, and some christianity in, yes there was still christianity in mm. me and that's why we are told to raise our babies in the ways that you always take a geuke mm. so i couldn't break some boundaries so tulikuwa anga bado na na hiccup na manager but uh, because just of the favor of the lord alikuwa tu ananiwacha tu yani just that i think because of urefu na beauty and because i used to votea the 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 wazungus so i had the favor for that mm-hmm. yes so, so mm-hmm. uh, we continued until a day came now we had to come uh, the, the club was being closed i think it was being closed or something just came now we were dropped from there it was at pango in florida mm-hmm. now it, we used to call it f3 mm-hmm. now we went to f2 Now here in F2 there was no salary because we are so many mm. so there was no salary sasa hapo ilikuwa ng survival for the fittest and me I never knew this survival for the fittest so nikaona sitaweza and I resigned but going home one thing led to another nikaanza now I'm in want I need money mm. I need my cash I went back to town now I had there's a new club that was open it was called Tashbi had I went there. There there was no salary. So it was survival for the fittest. Mm-hmm. Na jo strippers walishaskia imefunguliwa na hakuna sheria. The all came wako hapo. Yes. But there it was now rough. It was tough. Mm-hmm. If there is anything that I can say about that club it was rough and tough. Because for you to get that just that one customer you dance for, you will have to be very quick, very very quick and very Sharp. Uko, yes because wale tunaenda unaenda unaenda kupigana na watu wale wamezoea prostitution uko there so wamefanya uh, uh, prostitution mchana uh, uh, um, now they have come to do stripping at the, at the night so there's nothing they don't have any boundaries and they are free for anything there is where now i saw Sodom and Gomorrah <laughs> <laughs> yes mm-hmm. it was Sodom and Gomorrah because it was just not good because people used to do a lot of bad things a lot of when i say bad things it is bad so i i i i started saying this place is not i'm not fit yes i'm getting money but i'm not fit for this place i cannot go on like this mm-hmm. and because my mom used to pray for me and my dad they used to pray for me and they knew whatever you are doing my dad never knew Even my mama kwa akwa najua kabisa labda kama alikuwa na clue but i never told her ndio kazi yenye nafanya 
no, I never told them. But by dad, I don't think. Unajua, we are close with our mother. Mom used to cook one, one, two, because when I come with my costumes, Miki Zifua, she loved that one. Yes, if you. And she used to take the costumes and end on a choma. Aki choma, I go back to the market, I buy. Ninapata zingi, zingine. So, nikaza, this place is not good. And because nase mom, there is grace for each and every time, each and every season, there is a grace that can take you. Mm. So the grace of that work, Ilisha, but I still insisted. I want to do it because it is a freelance. You just go, you dance, and I dance the whole night. You can dance even for five people and you are good. Our Watuatano Wakifikisha, the amount that you want, now you can sit down and you drink and you have your fun. So one night, so it wasn't like a, it is an entire crowd that you are dancing for? It is not like an entire crowd. Mm -hmm. It is, you can go from table to table to table. Yes, anyone who is interested, he can call you, you dance for him. Now, so the, 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 the club, it is like this, the way we are seated, and mm. now there is a table here. You can climb on the table and you dance, up or you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, the tips, they will put the tips for you on top of the, your, 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 this, these strings. Yes, Apostle Sandra, Ama, they can give you in your, in your hands. Mm -hmm. Yes, like that. So, but when you are satisfied, so you sit down now. Mtu wa now, don't dance again. Sasa kachini, I'll take care of you. Now, mm -hmm. food and everything and every stuff. Mm -hmm. But, uh, Grace Ikaisha, but uh, while I was still existing, we became enemies with the manager. The one who was managing the place. Mm -hmm. And uh, one night, the manager threw me out. I can remember you, I don't want you here. Just from nowhere, just I don't want you here. Now, I was thrown out. I couldn't realize anything. And and because I refused to to kuingia vinyel kwa nataka. Conform with those yes yes to the to conform to those their standards. So I refused because there are standards that I refused to. So I was thrown. I was and then I I went home. And there that is when I stopped strip stripping. That happened your job you're stripping in Alicia for three years. Mm -hmm. And I thank God for that. Now, uh, after that, I, I was connected with my uncle to go to Masai Mara. No, I went to Masai Mara to do job as a waiter. And I went, and it was good. So I stayed for Masai Mara like two, two, two years. Two years. I got sick. Now, for me to come out of Masai Mara, I, I, I went to Masai Mara, I mm -hmm. came back home. Then mm -hmm. I went again. Then now, the time that I went again, there was a pastor who came to Masai Mara. You see the way the Bible says that even if the bed is spread in hell, his hand is mighty to save. Now, in Masai Mara, God sent a prophet there. So they, they had uh, Kesha. I was in my house by then, and I was chewing Mira. But kama I was eating it, something in me in an ivutia koile kesha. I feel like that there's just that presence. There's just that presence I, I, that I desire to go there. But I said, uh, and until I said the people that we were with, we come on a Sunday, we attend your church. Come on, yeah, we attend. Come on, yes, we go some sour. I went, but I went and I stayed back at the back kabisa. So the preacher preached, he preached really well. And even you can ask him his name, I can't remember. But uh, he preached well, and now he, it, became, it came a time for praying for the sick. There was a, a man who was brought there, walikuwa na mwombea, atok, aweze kutambia na mgu zake. But me, I was just there, I'm sitting like this. But something in me na niambia. Do you know even you ukiongezi ya maombia kwa apu yu mtume aneza tembea? But now because of ignorance, I never said anything. I was just silent. Because I had gotten saved, I backslid, and then nika backslide. Nika ukoka, nika backslide. So, I told God, me, I don't want to get saved. Kama nita ukoka, then I backslide. It is better I just stop getting saved. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the Sunday Kaisha, Nika toka kabla ule pasa juniliona nataka kuniongelesha, Nika toka kabla janifikia. So Nika enda, Nika enda home, Nika tengeneza lunch na Nika kula. Planning of what to do in the evening. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, that, that after cooking lunch, ile tu nimetoka tu kwa nyumba hivi vinyo uneza sema ufika kwa duka, guess who nakutana na ye? Same pastor. The man of God. Haka niambia girl, come. Kamambia, yes, pastor. 
akaniambia Mungu ako na haja na wewe nikamwambia mm akanana ataka uokoke nikamwambia hapa sasa mimi si uokoke that is the thing i told him mimi si uokoke labda Mungu aniahikishie na aniahikishie nikiokoka i'm not backsliding akaniambia god needs you and he needs you urgently because whatever is following you is so much dangerous nikamwambia i'm not ready for now akaniambia okay sita insist sana but we have a crusade there in the center you can just come can just come and kawambia sawa no now the man of god went na nikamobilize some ladies hapa nikawambia twende crusade but when we were going to crusade there was a kachochoro like this and now the the, the field was somewhere there up <laughs> nikawambia mimi siendi huko wacha nikan wacha nione crusade wapi hapa no when he was preaching and he finished a wind came and i had a jacket like those zenye wajeshi heavy sweater mm-hmm. a wind came that blew me baka uko kwenye ile 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 mali crusade ilikuwa ikanisukuma ikanisukuma baka hapo i found myself there saying that i want to be saved okay and i got saved and what uko akaongea shko ule shko and all i all on the lord i got saved and i stayed and now the church from that place gave me a, 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 a certain amount of money so that i start my business so that i don't go back to there now the they business. knew your job yes they knew <laughs> my job now when they give me the money biashara ikanoga ikakuwa mzuri kabisa i used to sell bananas and afternoon i used to sell sausages <laughs> smokies now i got a lot of money niko na pesa but there is no nothing to shop because that place is interior so hakuna hakuna shop na hakuna supermarket hakuna anything mm-hmm. but you have the cash you have the cash ile pesa ikanisumbua <laughs> ikanirudisha baka pale kwanza nikaanza na kaveve kwa nyumba tu i'm not seeing <laughs> So mm-hmm. nikaka kwa nyumba. So nikizungusha smoky zangu even the devil is very clever. Mm-hmm. So nikizungusha smoky zangu si am entering in these clubs. Mm-hmm. Unasikia patia shop na rock. Patia you, and, and again mwingine anakuja do you will you take me or say they knew my brand. <laughs> <laughs> Now one day I took. Mm-hmm. Nikasema si nikwa nyumba. I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I'm alone. Eh, I'm alone. I'm eating. I'm ananila. Ananila mm-hmm. so I'm not seeing it nikagonjeka sasa hapo ndio niligonjeka in fact niligonjeka while i i had two bottles of zini that are full sijafunua and a half of your reserve in the house so nikagonjeka i couldn't measure anything singeweza kumeza mm. so i now i opted to come back home zile vitu sinimeziacha huko mm. so nikaka home and the day of coming home niko na pain but there is no hakuna gari but i have de- i am determined i'm going home this place is not fit for me because before 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 i went home i had a dream that doors are closed for me doors are closed for me but there's only one door that is open the door that i don't want to enter through and that door it looked like heaven blue you know that sky mm. but that door i never went so nikaona here there is no help for me i need to go happy back home even i never thought it is it is Christ telling me the only door that can help me is just that one door which is Jesus so i came back home nikaka and i got well my birthday happened to come the third week mm. after getting home well. so i decided to go back to club so that ni rejoice kidogo it is my birthday but there is on my birthday i just said my fingers are tingling up a viju I never said and they tinkled like a whole month but I never said it but the day I said it the following day I never had the feeling of my legs mugu zangu zika paralyze my legs paralyzed I couldn't walk by myself I couldn't take myself from to the loo I couldn't just do anything I couldn't sing as a kutembea peke yangu mugu zangu zika paralyze just like that so we started to seek for medical attention when we go to the hospitals tunaambia there's nothing wrong with the her system ya ko tu sawa ile kitu yenye tunashindwa ni kwa nini migu zetu azifanye migu zake azifanye kazi so i stayed i seated i seated and when i was my legs were paralyzed my brother my brothers had no mercy for me they had no mercy for me nilikuwa nawaambia walikuwa tulikuambia utulie ukakataa sasa Mungu ameguzezi miguu utulie <laughs> that is the statement they used to tell me sasa utatulia 
and my small brother used to tell me, when you wake up, see you stand, you go. Amka wende, masa sindia hii. Amka, amka. But I cannot. Now because of that, niko nanya ukweli. Here now I'm helpless. Mimi ni ninyenyeke. So that nataka ni nataka kuenda inze, nifanyushwe exercise. And it is only them that can take me that out. But when they come, they used to mock me. At ya, kai, umeshinda hapa. Ujetoka inze? Ujeenda kuangalia nani nana? Ujeenda bez? Yani, those things. Nkambia, nimeshinda tu hapa. Until it became four months. That is when my small brother decided to take me for a walk. So I went, kidogo, kidogo, tu, kidogo, kidogo, just like a small distance. Even arundi kwa nyumba. That is when my relationship with God now started tightening because now ni meacho peke yangu in the house. My mama has gone ministry. My dad, then my dad had passed on. Uh, now uh, my brothers had gone to to their shuglis. Now I'm at home alone. What will you do? It is you and God now. Seek Up God. Sasa. <laughs> yes, I searched for Him with everything that I had left. I searched for him and I decided to go to seek help to another preacher because say TV ndio rafiki yangu na God ndio rafiki yangu so nikasikia kuna muhubiri ako ako achievers so I went with my clutches had I had been brought a kamkwajo because same goes zangu zilikuwa zimeanza kuwa na nguvu kidogo so nikajikokota nikaenda back at town but reaching there the reception told me, "Kuona mchungaji lazima ulipe 1,000." Do I have? I don't. Jota ile fee ni kuwempewa nimepe? Na nimepe exact just 100. So that I don't at it is 20 bob to go ama 30 bob to come back. Mm. So so uh, I said there yeah, I cannot go because sina hiyo pesa. And I returned now I told God, I will not seek help for any, from anyone else. Now I want your help. Mm -hmm. No, I stayed there for the whole year and God really was me with me. There that time I really felt him closer. If if there is anybody who is closer than a brother, it is only Jesus Christ. Only Jesus because there I felt him. He used to talk to me. And and within that period, my baby Alisoma Bilak of Kozo without at 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 school fees or something. She studied for the whole year without any Challenges, yes, mm -hmm. or charges. So the 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 year passed on. Nikavukisha mwaka kwa nyumba. The girl that never vukisha mwaka kwa hao. And then the following the following year until the fourth month. Now one year and four months. Mm -hmm. so, now I started seeking God. Ata na kumbuka kuna school. I went to 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 a fellowship. I fell while I was going to the fellowship, but I couldn't go back home. I wanted Jesus to heal me. I really needed it to heal, healing Kabisa so that I say about this my God. Mm -hmm. So I was healed. That is the way I just healed. Sisi kwambia how I just got strengthened of my legs. Wakati ambapo ulikuwa unaokoka wakati huu ulikuwa umeshacha drugs and then what kind of drugs were you using? Yes, nikiokoka you see now niko paralyzed. You cannot do the drugs. Who will bring for you the drugs there? And you see I'm staying in my mom's house. You wouldn't enter in that house with drugs. Ungeingia nazo tu mom will just know. Akwambia nini meingia huku. She was there. So I, there is where it all stopped. It all stopped there. So uh, Elizabeth, as we wrap up because of time, um, many people will ask probably wanashida kama hiyo ama wangependa, wahimizie wa, wa, watoto wao. Mm -hmm. Your story, uh, it, 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 it revolves around youthhood, yes. uh, life, mm -hmm. of which labda wazazi. Unajua sayi wazazi wa sayi wana ule ugumu wa kukulea watoto, mm -hmm. alafu watoto pia wama kuwa kuna kivile ukora, mm -hmm. manake sayi mm -hmm. kuna gadgets. Mm -hmm. Whenever you try to... to stream ya kitu this this side mm -hmm. ya yeah, natokea huku mm -hmm. pande nyingine mm -hmm. ungewapenda kuwapatia usia gani ama ungeweleza kivipi uh, I, I, I said I am a pastor I am in Dendero mm -hmm. I, I do youth counseling mm -hmm. that is my, my, my field of youth mm -hmm. because already me I have an adult youth I have mm -hmm. a youth I have a youth in my house so I, I do counseling if there is a girl I usually say there is always something because you you can speak to a girl mm -hmm. You, like a mom, 
you you can speak to your daughter or your son mm. but because it is just the same voice there cannot be change i usually tell them bring them in the house of god bring them to to this place this place it is not only me that I'm talking to them. There is a Holy Spirit and there is God in here. So we do counseling in BTRC Dendero uh, for the youth and, and they get transformed. We have so many testimonies of God have, have, have healed, have sustained. Even there are two, like, they, they are good and they are doing very fine. Oh, wow. Yes. So uh, as you look at, at your camera, one message to youths, what can you tell them uh, having been, at least having gone through that experience? Mm. Um, I would love to tell the youths mm. that there is nothing that is impossible with our God. Mm -hmm. And there is no situation our God cannot turn around. He turns situations around even for our favor. He can take your drugs to be a testimony. He can take your he can take your sickness to be a testimony for somebody else. That's why Ali Chukua, my my lameness, my 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 strokeness. Now it is a testimony. Sure. I just and you and you will only know God in in personal level kama amekuponya mm. unajua zaidi tunaweza sikia aliponya akakomboa aka transform but when you personally are transformed you will say surely there is god the only thing i can say to you hiyo kitu yenye imekushinda give it up to jesus sure. give it up to give your life to christ and mm. you see a turn around a transformation because nothing has ever been difficult with our god true yes so thanks so much, Percy, for yes. creating time and also sharing with us your story. Amen. Um, I'm sure it 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 aguza wengi na wengi wataweza pia kugeuka. Amen. So nimeshukuru sana. Thanks so much for creating time. Yes. Yes. And I forgot to say, <laughs> we are Bible Truth Revival Church in Dendero. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, nice. Yes. yes, yes. So yoyo chamba ya takuwa na kuitaji, yeah. anika kupata uko. Anika kupata uko. Na number ya simu, mm -hmm. uh, you can get me in touch with me through 0728 mm -hmm. 012 287. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. Nani mesukuru sana. Karibu sana. Uh, this marks the end of our today's episode. As always, I'm your host, Jal Msumba. Till next week, bye.